So this video is for anyone who is using Photoshop on a Windows computer or a Mac computer where you have Photoshop downloaded on the actual computer. If you're using a Chromebook or any computer that is using Windows Virtual Desktop, um, then you'll want to watch the video specifically for that. Um, but if you're using Photoshop on your computer, like you downloaded it onto your either Windows computer or Mac computer, um, then this is how you're going to go about opening a photo in Photoshop and saving it. So, um, first thing is you need all of your photos that you're going to edit on your computer. So, I know a lot of us are used to using things like Google Docs where things are in a cloud service and they're just saved automatically. You don't have to think about where they're being saved and things like that. Um, but Photoshop works a little bit different since it's actually on your computer. You have to have the photos that you're editing saved onto your computer. So you want to make sure that you're on your, on your computer and um, you want to keep things organized. So I have a photography folder here in my documents. Um, this will look a little bit different if you're using a Windows computer, but it works pretty much the same way. Wherever you have your documents in your Finder, or not Finder, um, Explorer window, uh, File Explorer is what it's called on Windows. Um, you should have documents and then you can create a photography folder in it and then within that photography folder you can have uh, a folder for every project that we do and that way it will keep things organized. Um, so I have some of my recent composition photos in um, a composition folder here. So we have documents, photography, composition, and then I have all these photos here. So um, I want to edit these, so I'm going to go ahead and now that they're on my computer, I'm going to go ahead and open Photoshop. It's really helpful to pin Photoshop down to your dock on a Mac or onto either the start menu or the taskbar that's down at the bottom on a Windows computer, and then it's really easy to access. But if it's not down there, you can always find it in Finder by going to Applications and Photoshop and then the actual program here. Similar to that is on a Windows computer, you can go through the start menu that pops up on the left and go to where all your applications are and open Photoshop from there. Uh, but it makes things a little bit quicker when you pin it down here. So we're gonna go ahead and open Photoshop. The first time you open it, it may take just a minute to load and open. So we have Photoshop here. This is the main kind of home page that it comes to when you first open it. Um, so you can just click open here to open a photo. It will have your recents down here after you've, after you've opened a few photos. It doesn't seem to be super reliable, so I'd really discourage you from uh, relying on this. Uh, you want to go find the photos on your computer where you've saved them. Um, so you can click open here. and that will pop up with a little window here that has all your files on your computer, similar to a file, a file explorer window on a Windows computer or Finder on a Mac. Um, sometimes after you've edited a few photos, Photoshop might look just like this page. If that's the case, you can always say File and Open. So either that Open button on the main homepage or File Open once you've gotten to this page um, which sometimes happens. And it brings up all your files. You want to go to your documents, find that folder that you created for photography, and find the folder of the photos you want to edit. And then you want to select a photo to edit. It should give you a preview so you can kind of go through them and see, okay, which photo was it that I wanted to edit? So let's say I want to edit, let's say this one. So I'm gonna click open. And now I have that photo opened in Photoshop. 
So for this first week with Photoshop, we are focusing on the tools that are on the left here. So you want to explore and experiment with all sorts of different tools. You can use any of these on the left for this project. Um, so remember if you hold down some of them, uh, there will be more underneath. Um, and also if you hover over them with your cursor, it will show you um, a little preview of how that tool works. So let's say that I made a few little adjustments. Let's say I went in with a sharpening tool, maybe made the brush a little bit smaller, and sharpened up my subject here a little bit. Maybe I went in with the spot healing tool to get rid of something and got rid of kind of the bird poo on the dock here. It's thinking about it. There we go. So I went in and removed some of that and now I'm ready to save it and I'm done with the photo. So I do need to save it. Um, otherwise, if we just close Photoshop, it won't save all your changes to the photo. So we want to go up to File and say Save As. If you just click Save, it will replace your original image with the edited one. And we want to preserve our original image as well in case we want to go back and change anything from the beginning of that photo. So I'm going to click Save As and that gives you the opportunity to change the file name so that it doesn't replace your original. Um, and it will give you this option. You don't want to click Save to Cloud Documents. That's the Adobe Cloud, um, and we're not going to use that. We're just going to save it on our computers. So click Save on Computer. It will pop up with this window here. Sometimes it's a smaller version like this, but you can always click this little button here and it will expand it so you can see more of what's going on. Um, it gives you a few options in this drop down menu here, but primarily you want to just go to your documents, your photography folder, the photo folder that you have these photos in. So for me for this one, it's composition, and then I'm gonna be saving it in here. But right now, this file name is the same as the original. So if I saved it just like this and click Save, it would replace the original. So I want to change the title of this. So a lot of times when I am making edits, I will, instead of coming up with a completely new file name, I'll just use the same name and then write Edited at the end of it. Um, and that way, the file name is different and it won't replace the original. Um, so then, as long as I've selected where I want it to go, in the Composition folder, in the Photography folder, in the Documents, um, I want to just click Save. It will pop up with this little window here, and you can just say OK. And once it is saved, then it is safe to close this photo in Photoshop, or close Photoshop altogether. But then, the edited version will show up in Finder or File Explorer within the folder that you have saved your photo in. So I have my original here and I have the edited version. And so that is how you open, edit, and save an image in Photoshop.